all these tears. Ah, oh, you guys. Where do I even begin? Hey guys, the doc is Ho here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well and having a great week so far. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my August pattern haul. Pattern haul, pattern haul, pattern haul. Let's go. All right, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Hit that subscribe button so we can continue to hang out together and you guys can continue to catch these fun videos once a week. All right, you guys. So without further ado, let's get into this pattern haul. All right, you guys. So let's get to it. The first pattern that I want to share with you guys is a McCall's pattern. This is McCall's 8327. Love, love, love. Okay. I don't have many skirt patterns, but when I saw this skirt pattern, I was like, yeah, I think I need that one. I need, I need that in my stash. Um, and I'm so happy that I picked it up. There's just so many cute things about it. I love the ruching here at the top. I love this like asymmetrical dip that happens right here um, and the split. Y'all know how I feel about a good split. So this to me checked all the boxes for spring and summer. I feel like this is like a really nice vacation type skirt where you could wear it like effortless, effortlessly and easy. Let me tell you. I'm not a snow girl. I'm not about the mountains, the cabins, the skiing, but I am about the beach. <laughs> I stay about the beach, okay? And to me, this is just giving me beach vibes, okay? So I love, love, love. It looks very simple to sew up, very quick, and the fabric choices um, just seem very lightweight and cool and airy, which is important in summer and at the beach. So you have view A here, which is the shorter version. You have view B here, which is a longer version. Um, and it looks like this one may be a little more um, pegged at the bottom. And then you have view C here, which is a longer skirt. Um, this is like a midi length. And I love all three. I think I would either make up view B or C here. So let's talk about this pattern. Uh, this is a Mrs. Knit skirt. So you will need your knit fabrics. Suggested fabrics are your two-way stretch knits such as interlock and jersey. Uh, so those are what they suggest you use. Your notions for A, B, and C are 3 fourths yards of 3 eighths inch wide elastic. That's it. Mic drop. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> of course you're gonna need some thread but you can't beat that you can't beat that elastic and thread for your notion so this is going to sew up very quickly and very easily uh, they are saying that this pattern is rated average I have not sewn it up yet so I don't know how accurate that is but um, I love it love 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 okay so let's look at the line drawings here. And to me, it's even better in the line drawings. So again, A, B, and C. You see how C is more flowy, B is more tapered and pegged, and then uh, A is that shorter version. So E is like jumping out at me right away. So here's the back. Just your standard back of skirt. It looks like view C, since it is more flowy, actually has a seam down the back where the other two are seamless. So I'm assuming that you're probably going to cut the back on fold of A and B, and you're going to cut out two of C for the back. Um, love this skirt, you guys. I don't know if I'll get around to sewing this up this year because... I mean, we got we have a while in summer, but I have so many projects lined up that I'm already like, am I going to make it? I hope I can make it. So I don't know that I'll um, finish this up or even start it this summer, but next summer, 
it's gonna be high on my list so if you guys have not picked this up yet McCall's 8327 add it to your cart all right guys so the next pattern I'm gonna share with you is a simplicity pattern I think this is one of their new either spring or summer patterns but I absolutely loved it when I saw it and I had to have it and I got it so here is simplicity 9746 gorgeous gorgeous so this is an easy to sew um, all these tears ah <sighs> you guys where do I even begin <sighs> I don't even know so we've got one-sided asymmetry with the shoulder here we have the option for two straps if you're not about that one shoulder life um so you got options here and this tearing is just gorgeous to me um that's a good looking shoe too i don't know if y'all can see that but that's a good looking shoe um right away i'm drawn to a and b um only because having a larger bust i do need don't need but i do prefer to wear a bra and so I feel like unless I wore a strapless bra, B might be kind of kind of risky for me. So we'll see. But let's talk about this pattern, you guys. The suggested fabrics are your cotton blends, your gingham, your linen blend, linen blends, your pop blend, and your seersucker. Y'all. Don't get me started on the seersucker. Y'all know I love some seersucker. Anyway, you're, you're going to also need your interfacing. So lightweight fusible interfacing is required. Your notions for A, B, and C are one and one fourth yards of three eighths inch elastic, one package of one half inch single fold bias tape. So like I told you guys a while ago, get your single fold bias tape ready because it's going to be on repeat all summer long <laughs> um so yeah i love 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 this dress you guys let me show you the line drawings so you can get a bigger closer picture bam so there we go here we go okay so you've got a here which is the long dress with two straps B, which is the long dress with one strap and an asymmetrical front and then you got C which is the shorter version of view B with one strap and this is the back pretty standard back uh, based on how the front is looking so that is cute I do like how A has the same pretty much the same front and back with that cross crisscrossing detail in the back that's really cute okay righty then so Next pattern I'm going to share with you is McCall's 8218. <sighs> it's a jumpsuit. Okay, here we go. Here's the jumpsuit. Love, 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 love. All right, so I love this jumpsuit. I love the pants, um, how it's like a wider leg, and I love this tie detail in the front. Y'all know how I feel about a good tie. So this is gorgeous. And this V-neck here, I absolutely love. This looks so casual and comfortable to me. Um, but then I do love you see as well with the long dramatic pant. So I would make up all of these. A of course is the shorts. I, I, could, I could just make them all. So let's talk about it. This pattern is rated easy. This pattern has 11 pieces. Um, your suggested fabrics are your two-way stretch knits. Huh, looking at it, I actually expect it for it to be woven, but this is a knit pattern, okay. So you're going to need your two-way stretch knits, which are your jerseys, interlock, cotton blend knits. So those are your options. Notions, you're going to need one and one half yards of three eighths inch elastic. More elastic. So again, seems like it's going to be quick to sew up. Not a whole lot of notions. Um, and you're good to go. So let me show you guys the line drawings here. They made it easy for me this time. Here we go. 
So here's the romper, which is A. View B, which is the longer pant that's kind of, let's see, that's hitting her like right at the ankle. And then view C, which is a longer, more dramatic, flowy pant. And this is the back. So A, B, and C, and uh, view C has a tie. The others do not. Oh, that's cute. All right. So there we go. So if you guys have not picked it up yet, McCall's 8218. Okay, you guys. So the next pattern I'm going to share with you, I've actually had for a while. Um, when I started sewing again, this was like one of the first things I made because I was going on vacation and I needed some shorts. So this is McCall 6930. Here we go. Um, I love this pattern. This pattern was so quick and so easy and I actually pulled it out again because I want to make some shorts again at some point. So the first time I sewed this up, I used view A. Now I'm like, I think I want my shorts to be a little bit longer. So I'm thinking this time around I'm going to sew up view C, which is this really, really cute pair of shorts. Um, but this pattern was really good, you guys. Um, I feel like you can get a lot of nice uh, bottom pieces out of this pattern. So, love it. Uh, let's talk about it. We have fitted shorts, tapered pants, um, shaped waistband, side front pockets, and a back zipper. I forgot that the zipper is in the back. Um, so you are using your medium weight woven fabric such as crepe, cotton blends, sateen, linen, and denim. I actually sewed these up in denim, but any of those options would work. Um, I'm sure they would be so, 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 so cute in linen. Um, but yeah, those are your options. You will need some fusible interfacing and you will need some notions. Your notions include one seven inch zipper, two hook and eye closures. And if you're sewing up view C, you will need a purchase two inch belt, which is here. That is optional, I'm sure, but if you want this look, you'll need to buy a belt. So again, this pattern obviously is rated easy. Um, like I said, it's a very, very quick sew, which I absolutely love. Um, here are your line drawings. So you've got Four different options in one package. Love, love, love that. Here's A, which is the shorty short shorts <laughs> with the back pockets. You have B, which is the shorts with a nice little like ruffle on the bottom and the back pockets. You got some hearts back there. If you're feeling, you know, a little happy, um, go ahead and do that. <laughs> you have view C here. Um, which is the shorts that I'm thinking of making in the back. And then D is a pair of pants in the back. So not a lot of frills here, but I really like this pattern and the simplicity of it. So if you have not picked up this pattern, McCall 6930, maybe you'll consider getting it. All right, guys. So the last pattern that I'm going to share with you today is McCall's 8211 absolutely love this dress i recently picked up this pattern um and i love it so uh the sh spaghetti strap version the part this uh, version with the sh off the shoulders the short sleeve and then you have like this square neck with the flutter sleeve with this nice like can y'all see that like waistband detail here and ruching here I just love this pattern and this has tears this skirt for C has some tears um, so any of these I love I do really love a but then I love the tearing of C so let's talk about it this pattern has 15 pieces it is rated easy um, your suggested fabrics are your eyelet your gingham cotton blends and your sateen and you will also need lining fabrics uh, so keep that in mind. Your notions, you're going to need an invisible 16 inch zipper and you'll need an 18 inch zipper 
for your women's version. So the 16 inch zipper is for your missus version. And then you'll need two yards of 3 8 inch elastic. There we go. And if you're sewing up the women's version, you'll need two and a half yards of 3 8 inch elastic. So I guess depending on which size you make, um, you may or may not need more elastic. All right, so let me show you guys the line drawings here. Here we go. Super cute. So we've got A here, which is the off the shoulder, and there's the back. B, which is the flutter square neck in the back. And then C is that spaghetti strap, and you see it's a tie back here. So love all three of those versions. I think right away A is what I'm drawn to. So love, love, love this pattern, you guys. So if you have not picked up McCall's, 8211. There you go. All right, you guys. Well, that's it for our August pattern haul. All right, you guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, I enjoyed making this video for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Hit that subscribe button so we can continue to hang out together and you guys can catch these fun videos once a week. All right, you guys. Well, until next time, I will see you later.